Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have 2 to the power of 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of 33 and we need to simplify this algebraic expression but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem uh, so it means that we need to show all of the working on this paper. Uh, so uh, I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in, the, uh, in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method uh, into the comment section. Mm, further uh, we solve this problem for two methods uh, I hope so you enjoy both of these methods. Uh, and now uh, we move towards the first method and uh, in the first method uh, we need to focus in the exponent of uh, uh, both of these terms. Uh, and it will be written as here first we write this 2 to the power of 22 as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 11 and it is multiplied by 3 to the power of 33 and we write this 33 as 3 multiplied by 11. So here further we use the nice uh, exponential law you know about that. Uh, if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n, uh, we write it as a to the power of m to the power of n. So according to uh, this exponential law here, uh, we need uh, to move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 2 square and its whole power is 11. And it is multiplied by here we move this 3 inside the term and it will become 3 to the power of 3 and its whole power is 11. And further in the next step we need more simplifications here and you see that this is 2 square and 2 square is equals to 4 to the power of 11. This is 3 cubed and we know that 3 cubed is equals to 27 and its whole power is 11. So here further we need we use another exponential law you know that if we have a to the power of m um, multiplied by b to the power of m then we need to combine the exponents of these two terms and it will be written as a multiplied by b and its whole exponent is m. So according to this uh, exponent law here we need to to combine the exponent of these terms and it will be written as 4 multiplied by 27 and its whole power is 11. So here our next target is to multiply these two numbers and you see here we have this is 4 times of 7 becomes 28. We write 8 and carry 2 and this is 4 times of 2 becomes 8 and 8 plus 2 becomes 10. So it will be written as uh, 108 and its whole power is 11. So this is the, our final simplified form of the given question. This is the final answer which we get here from first method. Now uh, in the same pattern and now here we move towards uh, second method. So in second method here first we need to copy down the given question statement here. So given question statement is 2 to the power of 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of 33. So here first we need to focus on this term and you see here we have this is 2 to the power of 22 multiplied by this is 3 to the power of 33. And here we break uh, this 33 as uh, 3 to the power of 22 plus 1. Okay. And here after that we use another exponent law. You know about that if we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So according to this exponent law here we need to... Uh, break these exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of sorry this is uh, 11 22 plus 11 becomes 33 so this will become 3 to the power of 11 okay so now you see here the uh, exponent of both of these two terms are same uh, so here we again 
I use uh, this nice exponential law. So according to this law, now we combine the exponents of these two terms and it will be written as 2 multiplied by 3 and its whole exponent is 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11. So here further we need to multiply these two bases and you see here 3 times uh, 2 times of 3 becomes 6 and its exponent is 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11. So here further we need to break uh, this 22 and uh, we write this 22 as 2 multiplied by 11 and this is multiplied by 3 to the power of 11. So here we again uh, use here uh, this nice exponent law you know about that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n is equals to a to the power of m to the power of n. So according to this exponent law here we need to uh, move this 2 inside the term it will be written as 6 square and its whole power is 11 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11 and now you see here 6 square becomes 36 to the power of 11 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11. And now you see here uh, the exponents of both of these terms are same so we combine these exponents and it will be written as 36 multiplied by 3 and its whole exponent is 11. And now in the next step we need to multiply these two, uh, uh, these two numbers. And now here first we multiply 6 and 3 we get here 6 times of 3 becomes 18 we write 8 and carry 1. Uh, so here we have and this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and 9 plus 1 becomes here 10 so this will becomes uh, 108 and its whole power is 11. So this is the our final answer which we get here from second method. Uh, so I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.